Say nothing. Didn't say nothing. Nothing, not a thing. Why didn't you turn up? Nigel's office was on the was on the um on the phone. Yeah. And just told me that's it that's now, you know. It. Told you to stop it, that's no, it. No, just said that's it. Yeah. Don't you know, be going over the top or saying anything. And you're, in it. your personal opinion, it's a bit, it's a bit disappointing that he didn't turn up. These well you have, you have to ask Mr. Yeah. Fry. These things happen. Coach, it could have been a bit please. of a coup for the party to, Let, for him to you know, the leader to turn up two days before the election. I'm making a proper profound statement here. Right? The simple fact is Nigel didn't turn up. For whatever reason he didn't turn up. None of us know. Did he bottle it? No, it's not a case of that, but I profoundly agree with Mr Farage. Did the officer say when he I, when I, was unsafe? No, when I turned up and I saw the way some people were behaving, hmm. I 100% agreed with Mr Farage. I'm but you, you waded in, you didn't feel unsafe, did you? Well, or? I'm known. I'm, uh, this is my home territory. Mr Farage would no, be... No one's going to hurt Nigel, are they? Would, well, we've got one of the highest gun, gun and knife crime rates in the, in the city, man. Let's get real You're now. saying Nigel Come could on. have been stabbed? Who knows? I don't know. I have no, no, what do you think? You draw your own conclusions. Well, that, I'd draw hope your not. own conclusions. But you know, this is, Croydon, as they say, is one of the most highest, has the, one of the highest rates of crime in the whole of the country. Now, let's get real. Yeah. Now, Mr. Farage come along <laughs> and seeing what was happening here, the violent way some did, people well, were behaving. Let me happened? finish. Let me finish. Right? He had people here. He was getting reports, and he would have been a fool, in my personal opinion, to turn up and see the way these people, some of these people behave. But it's not damaging that he didn't turn up. I mean, the people were expecting. It's not him damaging. To be I'll tell you again. It was common sense. He had people here reporting on the scene and what was going on. There were a few people here who were absolutely outrageous with their remarks and their attitudes. Did you feel scared? This is my hometown. Yeah. I can handle it. Yeah. Um, it's not a problem. Yeah. But if you're someone coming in from the outside, See, of course you'll be up. Week, yeah? they get oh, no, of course you'd be up. You, you wouldn't understand. Of course you'd be slightly nervous to come in. It's not but something. If, if some of the press are uh, tweeting that you call Croydon a dump, that would be not correct. But he didn't turn Croydon, up because Croydon was a dump. And... Croydon at the moment is an absolute dump. The people have been disenfranchised and robbed by the local council. Mm -hmm and it continues to do so. The, the potholes in the streets, the dilapidation of shops, the amount of unemployment, the continued rising in crime, the closure of police stations. Come on, man, do not let's think, get real. Do not think let's talk the about the real situations whereby we pay our taxes, we're arrested and thrown into prison for simple, simple little debts, and yet you've got masses of politicians and people running around defrauding the people Every day, but would, would the and nothing, not, would nobody the people, says anything. Would the people who lived there not be shocked to hear you call it a dump? I mean, we all it's know there's, a, there's issues. It's but turned a dump, into a, a Croydon. I was one of these guys, along with my brothers, who defended and fought for this, this borough. We fought hard. We gave it all we had and we helped put Croydon on the map. Since then, successive governments have disenfranchised the people of Croydon. And by their disenfranchisement, in not providing the necessary funds and using them accordingly, we have become poorer yeah. and poorer. But so come on, let's get real. Val they're valid points, but a dump to describe the, the it's area. It's a dump. Of dump. Yeah. People are dying. Yeah. A man was just chopped up the other day in South Norwood mm. and thrown into the bin. Mm. That makes it a dump. Yeah. The, my high street, South Norwood, is a dump. And it's for anyone who has money to set up. The poor people are in alleyways. In very, the, today's South Norwood, they smoke drugs in alleyways, right? People are found dead in alleyways. Handbags um, stored in, 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 in alleyways. Rubbish stored in alleyways. You look at the, web, the website and you visit various areas. I have visited every, um, every boundary, every area in, this, in, the, in Croydon. Every single one in my campaign, and the, the amount of fly tipping and filth that's going on is unbearable. There must be something I, positive to say about South Norway. Nothing positive. Nothing positive. It's dead in the water. It's dead in the water. Until we change the political regime, there'll be nothing new. Nothing will happen for poor people. What will UKIP do to sort it out there? Well, <laughs> UKIP is a class act for the simple fact that we're not like the other political parties in that we don't operate a whip's office. So it would be up to the individual candidate or incumbent councillor or MP to do what they feel is right for that specific area. And that's what makes us different.
People know me as a community man. They know that I, I'm the man who went to the council time and time again and asked them for funds for the Croydon Youth Games. I asked them for funds for my educational program. Nobody paid me. No one paid me a single dime. I'd work seven days a week for nothing. I went to, um, uh, to, Cro uh, to Croydon Council, Steve O'Connor. I went to Mr. Fisher, right? O'Connor and Fisher, those two people. I sat before them. O'Connor said he wouldn't give me any funds because he was frightened of my political allegiance. He'd give me no, f he categorically stated in City Hall he'll give me no funds to help my, my educational scheme yes. simply because of my political allegiance. Now, is that well, Winston, you're, you've obviously listed a load of problems and you think UKIP can sort them out. Do you think this event is going to make it more likely that, that a UKIP would be well, a, a UK councillor will be elected? Well, we don't know. We do, you know, politics is a funny thing. He's obviously a strongly spoken person. Well, to hear, to hear yes. someone who's grown up, grown up in the area say the area's a dump and there's And I'll say it again and I hope it hurts everybody, all those big wigs with money. If you're listening now, well, about, you've, you've made you've made Croydon you've made Croydon into a dump. Well, what about the people who aren't? The establishment right. the establishment of Croydon the establishment have turned this area into a dump. And I tell you, you just need to put your neck outside the borough and hear the way people talk about Croydon. Boris Johnson is a typical example. He thinks Croydon's a dump. He said it himself. Well, Winston, 